give God praise. Hallelujah. My God. Such gifted young people. Oh, I know you're excited about your baby. It's such a blessing to have gifted children as well. They all are blessed, but gifted is even a perfect <laughs> man. If I feel I can sing like that, y'all be telling me. God for you, young lady. I told her, get ready for the next program. Get you two more songs. <laughs> Hallelujah. I wish she would get in the praise team with you. You train your knees up. Bring God back. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's a voice, that girl. Hallelujah. We breaking ground over here. I ain't no breaking dance like that. Woo. I'm very impressed. At this time, without further ado, we're going to receive our speaker, none other than Jonathan Crosby, friend of Jeremiah Jones. Many of you know Jeremiah, he already spoke here, which he will be back. Amen. But let's receive him. His pastor is Pastor Donnie Falk. Amen. Yeah. Clap your hands and give God praise. Yeah.
Jesus said, I just came 42 generations to say I love you. Give God some praise because he's worthy to be praised. Worthy to be worthy to be lifted up. Then he comes back and says, if I be lifted up, as old as my sister here. That lets you know that we have a, a, a Noreen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Amen. We thank and praise God for the testimony. You know, the powerful testimony that God is still saving in these last and evil days. Come on. He's still saving. Amen. 20 years uh, the devil desired to kill you, but God, thank you. The devil desires to kill, to kill her. Amen. But God, he said, I come that you might have life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that the devil comes as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But God, who give us us grace. Anybody thank God for grace this oh, morning? Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We wouldn't be here without grace. Amen. Amen. The law came through Moses, but grace and truth came by way of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're here on assignment, and we thank and praise God. Amen. We don't lightly esteem what God has done for us. I'm not here by happenstance. No. That means on accident. I'm not here on an accident. I believe this is decreed before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We do give honor to your pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. And her husband. Molten. Powerful. Doctor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for wherever there's work in God's house. No matter where it is. We thank God for Wayne, Michigan. Amen. God desired a church in Wayne, Michigan, to be a light set on the hill. Amen. It's such a beautiful church you guys have here. Amen. Amen. Looks like royalty. Amen. Amen. Looks like royalty in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning, I'm going to ask you to draw your attention to the book of Samuel. Old Testament book. Hallelujah. First Samuel, I'm sorry. First Samuel. The 16th chapter. Amen. First Samuel, the 16th chapter, we want to begin at the first verse. Amen. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn over Saul? seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel. Fill thy horn with oil and go, and I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided a king amongst his sons. Somebody say, God is getting ready to make a king. Amen. Hallelujah. For I'm sending you to the house of Jesse, and there, before you go, he told him a specific assignment. He says, fill your horn 
with oil. And I'm going to send you to the house of Jesse. We're going to drop down just so we don't be reading for forever in a day. Y'all getting quiet on me. Make some noise up in here. Oh, yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. Let me get this verse. For here we see and understand God is getting ready to ordain, to anoint, to appoint the next king. Amen. Yeah. Verse 11, and Samuel said unto Jesse, are here all thy children? And he said, there remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, send and fetch him, for we will not sit down until he come hither. And he sent him and brought him in. Now when the ruddy and the withal and all the beautiful continents and got goodly to look to, the Lord said, arise, anoint him, for this is he. So here in this particular text, we begin with God letting Israel know that the king that they once had because of his disobedience, you know, the Bible teaches us that we are to obey the voice of the Lord, our God. And the Bible also tells us that obedience, no matter how it looks to us, is better than sacrifice. God let us know in these last and evil days, obedience is still better than sacrifice. It, it, it's, 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 it's very important to obey the voice of the Lord. Sometimes God would have us to go and lay hands on the sick, and maybe we really don't want to do it. We don't want to get up out the bed. It might be 3 o'clock in the morning. God, are you talking to me? Sometimes you got to ask him two, three times, God, you really, really want me to get up out this bed? Do you really want me to go up to the person I really don't like in school and, 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 and portray your word? Do you really want me to tell of your good? I don't even like you. We don't even get down like that. <laughs> you know, it ain't my favorite person in the world. Look, I, we can do it another way. I can tell so and so, and she can tell. Me. I'm shy, God. So here, God establishes his premise. Look, he, he begins in verse 1. He said, now how long you going to mourn over Saul? I've rejected him. He disobeyed the voice of the Lord. Guess what? We're moving on. So guess what? They, they, God says, look here, I need you to saddle up and get prepared. We're getting ready to set out to anoint God's next king. First of all, I want you guys to keep in mind, it was never God's intention to have a king over Israel because he was the king of kings. Amen. He was the Lord of lords. But because they looking around, everybody got a king. Everybody got somebody to look up to, God allowed it. So they get in there and, and we get a, a king he established, but he ain't listening to God. So God said, next. <laughs> Young people, I need you to get in your mind and understand you have to listen to the voice of the Lord. Amen. You have to hear. The Bible said, let them that have an ear hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. So even in these last and evil days and though so much stuff is going on around us, yeah. we have to listen to God's voice. Yeah. It is very important to hear and know God's voice. Sometimes we don't know it for ourselves, so our pastors... He said, I will put pastors after my own heart. That they hear, and there's an anointing on your life. Listen to your pastors. Amen, Listen Amen. to those that have ruled over us. So they, they set sail to anoint the next king of Israel. He says, look here, I'm getting ready to sing you to the house of Jesse. They get to the house of Jesse, and Jesse had all his other boys standing in front of the king's men. 
Here come the prophet. He got his horn of oil. Hey, we getting ready. I'm getting ready to anoint the next king of Israel. Israel being a very profound people because they were God's chosen people. They were in captivity for so many years and they cried unto God for deliverance. God delivered them out of Egypt. Anybody God ever brought out of some things and you just so happy that he did? You prayed and you prayed and you prayed and God delivered you. He delivered you with a strong hand, a mighty hand. So guess what? Now he, he's getting ready to put somebody over you that can give you a little bit of direction. Amen. So anyways, he, they get to the house of Jesse and everybody coming in with their armor and they, you know, you know, their, their fine rags, their Sunday's best. They got their Gucci, their Louis, you know, their red bottoms. <laughs> and they stand it before the king and they're showing off. God says, mm, not this one. Send me the next one. Eh, not that one. Mm, not that one. Mm, not that one. He said, surely you got to have somebody here because God said that the next king is coming in this house. God's word cannot return unto him void. Amen. So yeah, it's, it's, one, it's one out back, but he's young. The Bible let us know that we are not to despise not small beginnings. The young ones. You know, sometimes the young people are counted out. Ah, they don't know that much. So anyways, he says, surely there is a, 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 yeah, we got one in the back, but he's tending to the sheep. Uh -huh. God don't look for lazy people. Good. He needs you to have your hand doing something. Amen. Yes, doing something. So anyways, he says, yeah, it's one. He's out back uh, tending to the sheep. Yeah, he ain't got curly hair. <laughs> he ain't all that, you know. But he, he, he muddy. He dirty. He been out there all day, so he probably stink. He said, we won't sit down until you fetch him. Bring him in here. And the Bible says the moment they laid eyes, Anybody ever heard of love at first sight? <laughs> when God first saw you, he loved you. Amen. Keep in mind, he, he loved you. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Amen. son. So anyways, the moment they laid eyes on him, they began to anoint him with oil. Young people, it's important to know that God will uh, can anoint you at a young age. Amen. David was not old at all. I'm 12 years old. He, they said, he anointed him immediately, the moment that's him. And it's something about when God puts his anointing on you. Amen. You can't do anything. You can't go any place because God's anointing is on you. Amen. So they began to anoint David. David walked into something he ain't never seen before. So this morning, I'd like to impress upon you, only in God can the last be counted first. You know, oftentimes I think about my, my personal testimony. My personal testimony, I went through foster care. My mom didn't want me. She, she told me, she told me she ain't want me. She had seven kids. I was like the fourth, I was the fourth one. So it was two after, you no, know, three after me. And I think and praise God that I, I, I went through foster care up until I was about four years old. And, and, I, and I love the scripture when the Bible says, when your mother and your father forsake you, then will the Lord take you up. God has a purpose and he has a plan for each and every last one of us. So David was counted out because when they established that the next king was in Jesse's house, you would think they would have invited all of the boys in the house. You would think that they would have put good clothes on all of the boys. But I'm here to tell you that even when you're in the back and nobody thinks you're nothing, God has a way of calling you to the forefront. Just when our back was up against the wall, and it seemed like 
we came from the ghetto and it looks like, you know, I come on seven mile and I know they say seven mile, the better mile, you know, whatever. Um, but I come from the ghetto. I come from a place where they say, is there anything good to come out that hood? Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, God has a way to anoint the next singer, the next preacher, the next evangelist, the next prophet is coming out of this house. The, the next one is coming out of this house. And I know they looked over you. I, I know they counted you out. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell us, even in our dead, in our trespasses, in sin, he called us and he proclaimed us before the foundation of the world. Amen. Before the foundation of the world, he knew you. He sanctified you. Hallelujah. I thank and praise God. Hallelujah. For the book of Romans. Hallelujah. Romans let us know in Romans 8. Hallelujah. It says, Romans 8 and 30 says, Moreover, whom he predestinated, did he call. And whom he called, he justified. And whom he justified, he glorified. God is getting ready to put some glory back in your story. God is getting ready to put some anointing on some folk who they didn't think deserved it. God is getting ready to tell you, you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You're going to be the lender. The borrower, the lender, and not the borrower. God is getting ready to give you more than is expected of you. Hallelujah. I think and praise God. Hallelujah. Because when, when they think that you're nothing, hallelujah, never think that you're nothing because we all are somebody in Christ Jesus. I may not look like the next person. Never may not preach like the next person, but I am somebody in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't have to be afraid of the enemy because the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. And it doesn't matter what I've been through, but it's matter where I'm going. Hallelujah. I will look, lift up my eyes to the hills from which coming my help. My help coming from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We living in the last and evil days and the enemy has a, mm, it, it, it's such an illusion to where it, he is robbing us of our identity. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He's, he, he's robbing, of, robbing us of our identity. He is calling unholy holy. Mm. Mm. You preach, brother. Unholy, holy. My Lord. In these last and evil days, we still got to be holy. Yes, Lord. We got to be holy. Yes. The Bible says, holiness without no man yes. shall see the Lord in peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to see him, but how are you going to see him? Hey. You got to see the Lord in peace. I, I'm looking to see the Lord and him saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. Yeah. So David, like some of us up in here, I don't know anybody came out of Inkster. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anybody came out of Detroit? Anybody robbing us? They from all over. <laughs> But Detroit and the surrounding area is the murder capital of the world. And God saw fit to call us out and to serve the Lord with gladness. To come before his presence with singing. To enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. I'm so glad to know Jesus. I'm so glad to know him in the pardon of my sin. I'm so glad to know he can use me. He can speak to me. I'm so glad to know that he got a crown of thorns. Going forth in the suffering of God. But I'm so glad that if I suffer with Jesus, I know I'm going to reign with him. I don't mind suffering for righteousness sake. I don't mind, hallelujah, you're talking about me. I don't mind, hallelujah, um, being before people and they look over me. Because I know if they look over me, God will look on me. I like about David 
in this particular story, anointed to be king, was, you know, everybody was already in the house. The feast was already going forth. But God set up for a VIP entrance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. A VIP entrance. They didn't, you know, they, they came in general admission. <laughs> but it's something about when they say, go get that boy from out back, and he yeah. walked in by himself. Yeah. And I don't know if he came in with his little, you know, you know, sometimes you 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 walk, you got your little pimp walk. <laughs> I don't know how arrogant he got with it. But they said, go get that, that one out back. The one that was counted out. So I thank and praise God for the Bible said, it does not yet appear what we shall be. But when we see him, when God meets us, when he tells them to go get that one, when he anoints, when he appoints, it does not yet appear what he going to be. He wasn't made king, and, and it wasn't even until years later he reigned. But God saw fit for that little red head, curly head boy tending to the sheep in the back. Yeah. <laughs> the one that's handling the mud. Ah, Will you be ready to get down in the mud? Yeah. Will you be ready to get down in the mud? I thought, you know, we going to come in here. And <laughs> <laughs> but it's a teaching way this morning. Amen. Because God needs some 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 for real young people and to your youth leader. Y'all gotta give me her name again. Garena. Garena. <laughs> Such a pure worship. <laughs> Such a, a pure worship. Humble. Yeah. Humble. I seen her walk up. She was not boastful. She was not prideful. She came before the Lord humble. God said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And then will I take you up. Amen. The places you're going, eyes have not seen. Because hey. he can work with you. He can work. And, and, that, and that's where God wants us humble, meek and lowly. And if you humble, he'd say, I will exalt you in due time. Hallelujah. But it's those ones that think they got everything. Come you know. You I got it all together. You know, I'm big bad dollar bill. You know, got my Gucci's on, you know, got my Louis, you know. But right, right, right. Thank you, Jesus. But he needs those ones that's broke, busted, and disgusted. One ain't got too much. They know they ain't got too much. But they say, God, this is the little bit that I got. And the little bit I got, I give unto you. Yeah. I ain't too big to come to you. Hallelujah. I ain't too small to come before you. But here I am, Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Here I am, Lord, I'm not too great. I've been smoking weed and smoking dope for 20 years. But here am I. words to say, but here I am. Yes, Lord. This is all I got. Yes, Lord. God, this is all I got. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And David, when he came in, he didn't come in big and prideful. He didn't even know. Hallelujah. He didn't know the mandate that was on his life. When he came in, hallelujah, he came in like, what is this? He walked into the oil. That's how we got to walk into the oil. Yeah. Just obey. Hey, David, come here. Obey. Amen. When, when God calls the day you hear his voice, hard not your walk, therefore, into the principles and the ways of God. God, he wants to use you. He wants to use you. He wants to love you. He wants a relationship with you. But you got to desire a relationship with God. Hallelujah. You got to desire a relationship with God. I told the Lord I was, you know, I'm old school. Come out of apostolic church. We, I was, I was at Solomon's temple. 
Have you ever been to Solomon's yes. Temple? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mr. Bonner, and, and this man, <laughs> this man had the Holy Ghost. The, sh the, sh the show enough Holy Ghost. And I was 11 years old. And I said, Lord, whatever that man got, I want that. Amen. And the next Sunday, I was filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and who wasn't even there. Went to a full gospel church. Lady came in. She pulled all of the uh, young people out. There's 15 of us. Went into a room and waved her hand with a prayer. She said, Lord Jesus, I want all of them filled with the Holy Ghost. And we all came out speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. So, you know, you ain't got to sit up here and, and, and Terry, 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 Terry. Ah. I, know, I know that's the old way, you know. Yes, I know. <laughs> you be in there forever and forever in the day. You come back again and, 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 and you got to do it again. But hallelujah, the only thing you got to present God is a pure heart. Hallelujah. Lord, I want it. 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 Anybody got the Holy Ghost in here today? Yeah. And they're so glad they got They can lay hands on the sick and they recover. They can speak to the mountains and they be moved. Anybody can speak to their situations. Can speak to the enemy and say, get thee behind me. In the name of Jesus, we can cast out devils in his name, yes. thanks be to God. Yes. And guess what? You ain't got to be too young to do it because I'm right. telling you, I was doing it at 11 years old. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I tell you, David was anointed to be king. And I believe God did that young so it would register in our minds that, you know, get yourself out the way. God can do the miraculous. And God did just that on that day. But I'm telling you something. I was 12 years old. My grandma got this kill switch on her van. And um, kill switch, it deadens the, you know, the car until you unarm it. It was a way of precaution to keep people from stealing it. But anyways, at 12 years old, we was at church. Been there all day, three services. I'm like, look, God. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> right. All day Sunday school, first time. All right, here we go. Anyways, we was there, and Grandma lost her keys. I said, okay. Sunday school, morning service, afternoon service, 4 o'clock. 7 o'clock, it's time to go home. We have been here all day. But anyways, that's when you went to church forever. You know, anybody ever been to those... Three service days. <laughs> Hallelujah. Been there all day. You, you donate your whole day. To, and, and I don't understand why everybody's so in the rush to get out of church. Go to church. I love the habitation of God's house. I love the place where his honor dwells. I love being in the, the presence of God. Because there's peace here. There's joy here. Y'all here. And I love you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, praise God, for being in a place I've never been before because there's something about the blood of Jesus. And that being my daddy, and that being y'all daddy, and that blood that ran from Calvary's cross makes you my sister and my brother. So I ain't got to know your first name to know I love you. You are mine and I'm yours and there ain't nothing you can do about it. So, Man. we was there all day, and the kill switch done dead in the car. She can't find the keys to unarm the thing. So, I'm like, okay. She reached down in the purse. She said, I got a key. But the kill switch wouldn't lock the car. I said, look, I'm going about to go out here and lay hands on this car. <laughs> Somebody said, won't he do it? <laughs> I laid hands on that car, and the whole dashboard lit up lighter than it had ever lit up. And I knew it was God. I said, Lord, we've been here all day. I was ready to go. I love, I love your house. I'm serving you. 11 years old, what am I really doing? But uh, I'm serving you. He anointed the car. And I was allowed to turn the key over. 
And over here, we can't be so, so, uh, we can't let something seem so big because the God didn't have a spirit, but God can do the impossible. Yeah. I laid hands on the car and it lit up and I started the car. I went back and said, all right, let's go. We done got the car stolen. Let's go. We've been here all day. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I start the car and they get ready to come. How did you do it? I said it was God because I prayed. They're like, no, no, no. We, you can't pray over no car. I don't know what you did. <laughs> I said I prayed and I laid hands over the car. But I said all that to say because there are some things in our lives that we feel we can't do because it seems impossible. There's some people that God wants to anoint because everybody counted them out. They don't look right. But God is in the, in the, the don't look right situation. Amen. God is in those things that seem impossible. God is in those things that, you know, the Bible says man's extremity is God's opportunity to show forth his glory. And I'm looking for somebody in here, hallelujah, that's bold enough Hallelujah, to, be, to go in your situations, to go in your schools. I was the one in high school that took prayer back to the high school. Hallelujah. We met every morning and we prayed and we ordained the classroom. We went in there. You can do it, y'all. I'm telling you, you got to be a light in your communities. You got to be bold enough. You got to be like David when Goliath stood before him big and tall. And he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that come against the armies of God? <laughs> but wait, David, that man bigger than you. I don't care. Remind me of, you know, how we was doing this, uh, watching this video on, 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 um, on YouTube. On YouTube, I'm sorry. <laughs> And I don't care, I don't care, let me out, let me out. You just, you just talk. <laughs> what are you doing? That's, that's a giant. You, you just talk. I'm here, sometimes we are so weak in our faith. Sometimes we don't, we, we're, 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 we're down and we're out. But it don't matter. Get you a prayer. Hallelujah, that you pray before God. That's why it's good to pray while you are well. Because when you're sick, you, you may not can get a prayer through like you can. Young people, I need you to learn how to pray. Hallelujah. I need you to learn how to pray and seek God's face. You can do it. You can do it. So David, he looked at this man that was way bigger than him. He was a giant, the Bible says. God, he said, who is he to come against the armies of God? Hallelujah. He got big and he got puffed up. We got to have some pride over here. We got to be proud of the God that we serve. I know it may look bigger than you. I know it may look stronger than you. I know it may seem smarter than you. But I, the God I serve don't sleep. It don't slumber. The God I serve is big and he's strong and he's wise and he's all-knowing and he's all-seeing. And the eyes of the Lord is in every place. Beholding the good and the evil. So it don't matter what comes up before me. If God be for me, who can be against me? He's an unstoppable God. He's an all-knowing God. He's an all-keeping God. He's a God in him do I trust. So who is this uncircumcised Philistine to come up against the armies of God? The hand of the Lord is upon me, and I can lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. I can speak to the mountain, and it shall be moved. Amen. I'm not too young. I'm not too, you know, dumb. Hallelujah. We are strong. We are somebody in Christ Jesus. Know who you are. Identify your identity. Identify your identity. She said she dealt with, you know, your, your testimony is powerful. Amen. Yes, man. Yes, Lord. Your yes. testimony could set the captive free. Yes. 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 Freedom. Oh, God, I thank God for the liberty. Yes. And that, now, that's what he mean by liberty. Yeah, we come in here, uh, but the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You know, to come in here and worship God, but 
it's a certain freedom that comes in the house of that comes with the house of God. When we come in here, we ought to be made free. And I know they say greater works deliverance. God ain't here just to put band-aids on situations. He's getting ready to set the captive free. He's getting ready to set the captive free. He's getting ready to not heal, but deliver. Deliver out of situations. Deliver out of financial bondage. Deliver out of uh, sickness. Later for keep going back to the hospital over the same thing. I'm ready to be free. believe he can do it? Yeah. Don't you believe he can just heal you all the way? Yeah. I believe in the God of the impossible. I believe in the God that can take me from nothing. I said only in God will he make the last. So you got here, here a long line of people and God's got a way of just turning the line of right. <laughs> but God, I used to be in the back of the line. And I was waiting for all the people to come before me. And God just said, turn around. Just turn the whole line around. See, back in the, in, in, in the New Testament, there was a man that stood by the gate called Beautiful. Waiting on a healing. Year after year, the Bible says he will come and say, look, somebody get in front of me every time I get ready to go. I can't really, you know, I can't, I can't never be healed. He said, will thou be made whole? Yeah. What? I, you, you looking at your current circumstance. Yeah. It don't matter what you're going through right now. God's getting ready to move it out of your way. <laughs> He said, I don't care what will you be made whole. But God, it's too it's bigger than me. So it's stronger than me, God. And I don't know what to do with it. Give it to me. Give it to me. We gotta learn how to give our situations to God. Situation might be big, so my God is rich. You got money problems, my God is rich. And houses and land. He holds the world in the palm of it. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein, I belong to God. And if God got all this money and riches, so do I. Ties or I'm gonna pay this bill. <laughs> Saints, pay your tithes. Yeah. Pay your tithes. That is how this this church. Yeah. That's how the kingdom is sustained. Pay your tithes and allow God to work the increase. Yeah. He's able to do it. He's able to do the impossible. I love the psalmist when he said, Yea, though I walk through the sh valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff comfort me. Surely, goodness and mercy. I don't walk by myself. I tell people I don't travel by myself. I got company. Look at your neighbor and say, I got company. Surely goodness and mercy goes with me everywhere I go. Surely he's walking with me. Surely it may come up against me, but it shall not overtake me because God is with me. I've got traveling angels. Goodness and mercy is following me. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes in before me, goodness and mercy is with me. We got bullies in school and goodness and mercy. God will do some phenomenons that you have never seen. Try him. Go before, go and go to school. Anybody ever been bullied? Been bullied? 
Hopefully you still ain't being bullied. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. But if you got a bully in school, some, you know, sometimes, hey, I never really got bullied, but I've been talked about. Yeah, he weird. He's strange. Yeah, I've been all those things. But that's okay. I got identity. When you know who you are, can't nobody tell you otherwise. You are somebody. I watched you dance today. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it, was, it was much different than I had ever seen before. But I recognize the praise in your dance. I listened to the words, Mr. Preacher Man. I might be a little different, Mr. Preacher Man. Hallelujah, but I'm here to worship with the brother. Yes. Hallelujah. I thank and praise God for the gifts, the unique talent is in this place. This Amen. is a holy house. Amen. I thank and praise God for a leader to let them go forth yes. like she does. Yes. She is worthy, Amen. worthy of double honor. Yes. The Bible says she is worthy of double honor. Come in here, preach week after week. Laying hands and, and speaking into life, you're worthy of double honor. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's no goodness of our own because the enemy desires to sift her as wheat. But God said, I pray for you that your faith fail not. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's celebrate our pastor this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's give it up for the God that we serve. He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun, he's worthy. To the setting of the same, he's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you for the gifts he put down in us. We are somebody in Christ Jesus. May not look like everybody. May have, have, have been through some things. But God, whom he for he foreknew he justified. He, he did the work. It ain't no goodness of our own. Sometimes we think we did it by ourselves. People come in here, they don't look like us. Who are they? But God got a way of cleaning us up and establishing us. He's got a way of turning our lives around. Anybody in here, and we, we can close. But is there anybody here to say that I think I'm worthless? Or is there anybody here that may not really feel like they know what God has for them? I want to ask you to come to the altar. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are all somebody in Christ Jesus. Amen. I don't care how young you are. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Thank you, Jesus. He has a purpose. He has a plan Amen. for your life. Thank you. I may not look like everybody, but God has a plan for my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is worthy to be praised. When I ask all, all those that want to come down, just, just line this way up. Down the altar. Thank you, Jesus. If you hear and you know you hear the voice of God coming through this man's mouth, please come to this altar. There's going to be a yoke destroying anointing come out of his mouth. Amen. So if you hear and you know you want some help from God, don't be ashamed. Just come down to the altar. Amen. Come down. Come on. There's some young people that know they need a touch from the Lord. Thank you, sister. Amen. Just go to the altar. Don't look at nobody else. Just keep your eyes on the Lord. Because he's going to do something spectacular for you in this hour. Amen. That's it. That's it. And there's some that's been in the church already here needs to be at this altar. Because there's a strong witchcraft spirit of manipulation on their lives. And I know it because God spoke it to me. So if you're here, you know that you're not in that same place in your thinking, your spirit. Please come down to this altar so we can break this off of you today. 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 Come on. That's right. Come on. There's some more should be coming. Come on. Some more should be coming. Some more should be coming. 
You know who you are. Please don't let God call you by name, but just come on willingly and say, God, I'm ready to do what you called me to do in Jesus' name. Come on. That's right. There should be some more moving. I believe it's some more. Thank you, Jesus. There's some more. Some more. There's some more. You don't have to be done smoke weed or drink, but you know in your spirit that there's greater in you. Hallelujah. Come on. That the sister told in her testimony, which was to me paramount, she said, I am not ashamed. What I've been through, don't matter what I've been through, it just matter where I'm going. Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I want everybody to latch arms. In the name of Jesus. We're going to represent unity in the house this morning. Unity in the house, in the name of Jesus. We bind everything that's not like God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are somebody in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. We speak now everything that's not like God. We put behind us in the name of Jesus. We declare no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We speak life into every dead situation. Our houses are blessed. Our children are blessed in the name of Jesus. We cast every imagination that rises itself against the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. We speak now yokes are destroyed and chains are broken in the name of Jesus. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I need y'all to open your mouths and begin to tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Tell him thank you and you love him. Hallelujah. Remind God that you love him. Hallelujah. Remind God that you are somebody. Remind God that you need him in your lives and into your situations. Hallelujah. Your chains are broken. Yokes are destroyed in the uh, miraculous. Hallelujah. Miracles, sign, wonders in the name of Shatta, in the name of Esau. Uh, miracles, uh, chains are broken in the name of Jesus. I touch and I decree. Uh, I declare, I decree no weapon formed us against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. It may form, it may form, it may form, but it will not prosper. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The enemy is trying to shoot us. The Bible says he comes as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He comes as a roaring lion, but I serve the lion of Judah. He's the lion of Judah. See, the devil comes to manipulate, but God came to set in order. God is coming to set things in order in your life. In the name of the order, order, order. The steps of a good woman is ordered by the Lord. Order by the Lord. Order her steps, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Uh, it shall be, it shall be done. The name of the it shall, it shall. A complete work, a complete work in the most shit. No fear, no fear, no fear, no fear. Hallelujah. For thou art with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't change, don't change, don't change. Love him. Hallelujah. Adore him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Go forth. Go forth. Go forth. I press toward the mark of the prize. The high calling in Christ Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Don't change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Press. 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 Hallelujah. A better relationship. Hallelujah. A better relationship. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The victory is already yours. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't look to those things which are behind us, but we press toward to those things that are in front of us. Jesus is in front of you. Hallelujah. Follow him. Hallelujah. Jesus is in front of you. Follow him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise you. Unique. Hallelujah. Strong. Powerful. Hallelujah. Unique. God is saying unique. Peculiar. You are a chosen generation. A peculiar people to show forth the praises of him that have brought you up out of darkness. In the name of Jesus. It don't matter. Be unique. Be unique. Thank you, Jesus. Peculiar. When God makes up his jewels, none of them look alike. The Bible said we are fitly joined together as his craftsmanship. Mm. This building, though these bricks look alike because they're square, I mean rectangular in diameter, they still are different yeah. Yeah. because of how the creator, each brick, the cavities in them, all are different, different, yeah. Yeah. unique, peculiar. It's okay to be that way. You are peculiar. That's fine. Press toward that thing that which is in front of you. Grab hold to it and don't let it go. Don't, don't look back. You're here now. Don't look back. The light is in front of you. The tunnel might look dark behind you, but press toward the light. In the name of Jesus, I love the peculiar person you are. Stay in God. Because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Forget about those things that you might have like dibbled in, dabbled in. God has a way. He's going to destroy that yoke in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep serving him. You got the heart of a servant. You got the heart of a servant. Keep serving him. Serving God is like none other. And the reward is in the end. He that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. You're going to be able to speak to people I can't speak to. Because your ways, you cool. I ain't that cool. You cool. Be cool in Christ. Don't change. Just walk in Christ. Don't move. You somebody. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Peculiar, yes. Identity, yes. Walk forth in the identity God has given you. We don't have to be like nobody. But God got a way and it's mighty. You know, people say it is mighty sweet. Tears so sweet to trust in him. Trust in Jesus. Don't look to the left nor to the right. Don't look to the left nor to the right. Look solely up. Promotion don't come from the east or the west because they, all these people are on the same level. Mm -hmm. When they're on the east and the west, they're on your level. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, look up for your redemption draw near. Mm -hmm. Look up only to Jesus. Let me tell you, in the, in the Old Testament, there was snakes all around them. And it was eating them up. And he said, if you look up, you will be saved. Look up. Your redemption is up. And when you look up, only place you can go is up. Thank you. Hallelujah. Look at you two. Almost like twins, right? Okay. Well, then that's it. The twins, but two separate people. You're going to be so rooted and grounded. Stay together always. The, the uniqueness that each of you have, though, is still a problem. God has a separate anointing for both of you. But stay in his will and stay in his way. For it don't yet appear what you shall be. Because you already are in church. Who's your parents? She's not here. She's not here. But she had enough to drop you down. And that in itself is beautiful. Beautiful are, the, beautiful are the feet of them that carry the gospel. And I don't know if you're going to preach, but you can be a mouthpiece for God wherever you go. Tell the world 
that Jesus saved. Tell the world that God came to set free and to deliver. In the name of Jesus, don't be ashamed. Refused. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. God's got you right where he wants you. You be bold. You seem like you're quiet. Very quiet. <laughs> It's okay to see you. Say, I love you, Jesus. What's your name? I love you, Jesus. 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 Don't be afraid to let people know. know. You can be quiet, but be bold. Yes. That when you when when you do speak, oh, you speak. Hallelujah. Let God crown your, your words with wisdom. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you, Bishop Ray. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to be like this thing, because Bishop Blake, he's the presiding bishop of the churches of our Lord Jesus, I mean, of, of God and Christ. Bishop Blake. Yeah. Bishop Blake. Yeah. Powerful man of God. To go forth and proclaim the word of God. Wow. But you ain't got to mock him because God got something peculiar just yeah. for you. Yeah. We are chosen before the foundation of the world. And I believe when you got up there, you let the devil know that you don't got me. My God. That's one less you don't have. Hey. How are you? 24. 24 years old. Woo. Wow. Say, I love you. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> they go a black eye in the devil's face. Say it again. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Ah, I think hell is, he's upset. Ah, but that's okay. Because there's going to be some things that come upon you to tear you down. But then God said, then will I raise you up. My God. Don't be afraid of their faces. Because God's got something just in store for you. I look at you while the message is going forth. Powerful. Hallelujah. Anointed. Hallelujah. Anointed. I can identify you've been counted out. You've been pushed to the back. God's going to push you to the head of the mountain. Not only do you, you see all of us, he's turning the line in your direction. <laughs> because you, you be faithful. Be faithful. Stay faithful. Don't move. Because you'll, you'll miss the move. You'll miss the move. Don't move. To stay in the flow. Wow. To stay in the flow. Amen. Stay in the flow. God's got you right where He wants you. Finally. He's positioning you for a blessing. Oh, stay there. Stay there. Stay faithful. Remain. Hallelujah. Grab your hand. You love Jesus. You love you. You really love him. You'd be willing to do whatever it takes. Tell God whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Whatever it takes. Lift your hands up. Your hands up. Say that and mean it. I need you to make hell mad. Whatever it takes. You got to be able to love Jesus more than anything. More than anything. You know, you know the things that you got to lay down for Jesus. Right? right? You know, got to get in your business, got to tell the multitude, because God knows how to speak to you personally. My God, my God, my God. He ain't got to, he ain't got Hallelujah. to make a spectacle out of you, and that's what I like about God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. The, just whatever it takes. You can do anything. You can use anybody. Use me, Lord. If you want to use me to speak to my class, if you want to use me to speak in the world, I, I would do anything for your glory. 
let him use you. But you, the, Jesus said, if you come after me, you got to deny yourself. Take up your cross. That's your suffering. You're going to go through some stuff. You're going to tell people no. You're going to tell people I can't do that no more because God's got something special for me. Now with that same praise, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I think he got a word to put in your mouth. Yes, Lord. Ambassador yes, Lord. is what I hear. Ambassador. Yes, but you got to be broken. Yes, you got to lay it down. Yes, but ambassador, you will be. Yes. You'll be able to speak to people I can't speak to. Yes. You can be able to go into the highways and compel yes, men to come up to God. Father Abraham. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Unique. You love God. You love him already. And that's amazing. God loves a pure heart. Amen. Don't let nobody pollute you. Because he got you at a young age. Yes, Lord. You won't go through, but stay consistent. People gonna talk about you. People gonna say, "Look at him," but God's got such an anointing on your life. You don't know you may be a pastor. Yeah, better be the next pastor. This but you gotta go through the process. And you gotta love the Lord. Yeah, amen. When you love the Lord, all things are possible. My God. You gotta believe in Him. You gotta trust in Him. Pray to Him. God's got great things. My God. <laughs> I seen, I seen you. I seen you during the service, and I seen you worship. Draw nine to Jesus. Don't pull back. You in to be. You are in to be. Turn around now. I just can't give up now. I come too far to turn back now. Don't look at your peers because what they got going on is just the front. God, what God has for you is, is far greater than anybody you hang around. Than anybody that you talk to. Draw not to God. And he will draw not to you. Speak to him and he'll speak back to you. Pray to him and he'll talk to you. Seek the face. Of, don't turn back. Don't, don't pull back. What God has in store for you is great. You're going to be able to speak those things that be not as though they already are. And he's going to put that in your mouth. But you got to draw, continue to draw unto the Lord. Don't pull back. Don't get an attitude and say, oh, it's too much. Mm. They talking about me. Mm. Mm. They lying on me. Forget them. Jesus. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth my salvation. My word to you is just to draw not to God. Get a stronger relationship, and you're going to be somebody to be able to speak into people's lives. And it's going to come forth. Holy Ghost. Ah, it's going to come forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God's going to make stuff come forth yeah, out of your yeah, mouth. Yeah. Why? Because you said it. God, they anoint him. God may not have been really ready to anoint him, but he anointed them just because you said it. He'll make a way just because you said make a way. Speak it. Get clear. In the name of Jesus. And the youngest one. The one that's the, the young ones went out back. He ain't even got curly hair, but you like David. God is making you a VIP inch. Wow. Caleb. <laughs> well, with a name like 
Caleb, you got to be blessed. <laughs> you know who you are? Yeah. You do? Are you one of God's very elect? No. <laughs> Not right now. But he's getting there. He's getting there? Yeah. But Caleb, don't be shy. God's going to anoint you. He's going to bless you. And just like this is going to be your role model, he's going to be able to show you, show you some things. But don't be shy. God's got you. Amen. He knows who you are at a young age. Everybody lift their hands and say, Lord, whatever it takes. Lord, whatever it takes. And that means sometimes I got to be broken. Sometimes I got to be able to tell people no. You ain't got to be that. That's too much. <laughs> but lift your hands. Sometimes we got to tell people no. For the anointing of God. They sung, for your glory, I would do anything. Sometimes anything is telling some people no. I can't be around you. If you don't love the Lord like I love the Lord. Then, you know, I see you when I see you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. And we praise you. We give you all the glory and the honor. All the glory shall be due your name. Lord, look at these people on the altar to say, Lord, it is not my brother, it's not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord. I stand in the need of prayer. Lord Jesus, I'm not perfect, but I'm seeking your face. I'm turning from my ways, Lord Jesus. I'm forgetting those things which are behind me, and I'm pressing to those things which are before me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the work is not done, but I'm striving for, for perfection in the name of Jesus. Lord God, look on their hearts, Lord Jesus, and give them a heart of flesh. Look on their pastor, Lord Jesus, and double her anointing, Lord Jesus, yes. as she leads them, Jesus, in the path of righteousness Hallelujah. for your name's sake, Lord yes. Jesus. Oh, God, give her, Lord Jesus, the words to say, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, to speak unto these great people. We are people of the name. Repeat after me. We are people of the name. Of the, name. the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. And everything comes subject. To the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Let's receive our pastor. Amen. Amen.